Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivek. And in this video, we're going to see how we, we can launch deep links using Selenite APM. Again, launching deep links is one of the important things that we can do with APM. Uh, it can greatly reduce your times of execution. So, but launching deep links is not so straightforward in APM, right? You need to understand a lot of things and the behavior changes for Android, iOS, and then it it also changes for emulator and then the simulator and real device. So it is not so easy to, to be honest. So you have to understand a lot of facts, how these works, and then you have to work with it. But not a lot of time we have, you know, time to experience this and test it. What we have done is we have created a lot of uh, methods where you can directly use those methods, right? You can always go to the implementation and see what we have done, but you know, just to save some time, we want to quickly create an automated test and Selenium APM can help uh, in, in those front, right? So without wasting much time, uh, uh, let's go to the IntelliJ. So this is the uh, previous test we, we have wrote, uh, and this is the current test that we are going to write. Again, Selenium.sleep is, is some, almost like your thread.sleep, but the good thing is if you use thread.sleep, it will ask you to uh, handle with, with try catch or throw the interrupted exception. But uh, Selenium or sleep doesn't do that because we we already wrap them uh, inside stopwatch and then we we handle that for you. So it doesn't. So we handle this interrupted exception and everything uh, with us. So uh, it is as simple as just using Selenium or sleep, right? Uh, yeah. Let's see how we can do this. All right. Uh, there is a class called Selenium APM, and then you can uh, see open Android deep link. Okay. So deep links are are just a basic way. Uh, for example, let's say you are working with this app. Uh, let's say you want to go to this screen, okay? Uh, go to the, so you want to add the first product to the cart. Uh, so you want to go to this screen, okay? So if you if you, if you you normally open the app and then go here, uh, every time you are opening and clicking on this, okay? Uh, sometimes let's say this page may not be working properly. In those cases, uh, you know, uh, if you want to go to this page, you're, you cannot do that. And imagine a scenario where the flow is not so just one click, instead it is 10 clicks to go to this particular page. In those cases, you can directly use deep links to directly go to this page, okay? So uh, so what is the Android deep link for this, okay? So the app that we are using here is, is basically the Sauce Lab My Demo app. Um, and if you go here, these pe uh, people have clearly mentioned, if you want to add a product one to the cart, uh, you can do, product details and then ID, okay? You can go down and see. Uh, so this is the, uh, you know, the deep link that we want to use. And uh, so this is the deep link that we copied from there. Uh, okay, it's uh, control C, yeah. And then apart from that, you also need to mention what is the app package. So if you go again here, notice this is the app package. Okay, let's copy this as well. And then let's also pass this here, right? Once it's done. So that's, that's all you need to do. Uh, just run the test and hopefully I have uh, stuff, properties. sorry, this is should be, Android app. So we should launch the Android app. So the test might fail. So let me stop it and then quickly uh, rerun the test, right? So you should launch the app and then you should go to the this page directly without clicking on the first product, right? So it, it, it went here, um, you know, without any uh, efforts from us. It waited for five seconds and then the test got closed. Again, still need to automatically close the test. You don't have to close it yourself. Uh, Similarly, if you want to work with uh, iOS, all you have to do is, uh, you know, just call Selenium APM and then dot open iOS deep link. Uh, for iOS, you don't have to give the package name. You just need to mention this because iOS operate differently uh, than the Android, right? So you can just mention the uh, deep link alone. And let's go here and then let's uh, replace this with iOS and then quickly run the test. This time, it should work in the simulator. Again, if you notice here, it will launch the Safari and then enter the deep link there and handle it. 
okay so so the way how it works in both the cases are different so so as a end user you really don't have to worry about it see if you notice safari is launched you have to click on the url bar so the locator for this might change uh, in different ways so so you need to use correct locators now it went to the correct page using deep link and everything works absolutely fine again always please go ahead and see how how we are launching the app so you know first we are launching the app uh, and then uh, we are opening the deep link here so if you notice this is the code that i am speaking about uh, okay so if you notice uh, first we are checking whether the keyboard is there if it is not uh, there we will hide it and then we will open the safari we'll find the address bar uh, once we enter the values then we will see uh, if the keyboard is shown or not and then there is a lot of logic that we have to write to basically enter the values into the Safari keyboard. Um, and for I, uh, for Android, we have to use map and then put the deep link URL and app package that we are passing and call this mobile caller deep link using execute script. So this is how basically it works. Uh, you can always explore them, but as an end user, you can directly leverage what we have built and directly use it. Yeah, I hope you will find this video useful. Thank you guys. I will see you guys in another great video. Bye-bye.